Hello guys and welcome to my Q&A. Now recently I've had a lot of questions over my social media pages uh, asking me a variety of things over a number of s subjects so I thought the best thing to do would be to put a post up on Instagram which I put on Monday. Um, basically for all you guys to ask me your questions and I thought I'd just group it all together in one video. So um, this is something I want to do regularly as well so if you're watching this and there's something you want to ask just comment in the section below and I'll try and keep the videos updated regularly. So um, first things first let's get to it. First question we got is what supplements do I take? Easy enough, I just take creatine and NO2 Extreme. I take those two because they are proven to work. Um, I used to be really big on supplements, taking everything under the sun, um, but then I've sort of realised there's no actual point in taking it if they don't work. Um, so just do your research before you buy your supplements guys, there's a good website called Examine, I'll link that in the comments below. Um, basically you just, you just type in what you're thinking about getting and it just tells you a whole list of uh, figures and facts about that supplement and it's a non-biased opinion as well so that's a good website to use. Um, what style of dieting are you using? Do you flexi diet etc? What is your calories slash macro per day and is MyFitnessPal an accurate source to use to track calories and macros for a specific goal? Well, um, start of dieting I've been using for the last few weeks is, I wouldn't really put a name on it to be honest, I've just been sticking to whole foods, whole nutritious foods, um, been varying my macro intake and haven't really been tracking much really. I've just been balancing my meals out, um, moderate carbs, high proteins and moderate fats as well. Um, I've just been doing that because I feel that's sustainable for me. I think that's the biggest thing when you're dieting as well, is just to choose something that's sustainable for you. Otherwise, you know, you stick to a diet for a few weeks and then you just go on a massive binge because you've been forcing yourself to stick to this horrible diet that you haven't been enjoying and you just want to get rid of it, basically. Um, and to the next part of the question, what is my calorie slash macros per day? Um, I think my, my basal metabolic rate, so that's without any exercise, is around 2,500 calories. And obviously, if you're going to add exercise on top of that as well, um, you times that by about 1.4 or 1.9, depending on how much activity you're doing. But um, like I said, I'm not really tracking that much at the moment. Um, and last part of the question, is my fitness power an accurate source to use to track calories and macros for a specific goal? Um, yes and no really. MyFitnessPal can be a good app, um, but you just, what you need to remember is anyone can go on this app and type in like, um, the nutritional facts for a particular bit of food. So just when you do, just make sure you compare it to the label to make sure it's accurate because sometimes you can just put the calories in and it won't tell you the, you know, the fats, proteins and carbs or the, any of the nutrient counts. So just make sure it is accurate to what you're eating. Also, as to track calories sometimes it will give you an inaccurate um, inaccurate goal so I was listening to a podcast recently where an expert was saying that um, you know what my fitness pal says you should take can sometimes be off by, by about 500 calories so you know if you're if you're having say if my fitness pal tells you to have 2500 calories a day uh, but your actual calorie intake should be around 2,000, then you're eating 500 calories extra a day, and you know, after a week, it's gonna be an extra pound of weight, after two weeks, it's gonna be a two pounds. So just make sure, what I'd recommend is just do an average weigh-in. So, you know, Monday uh, morning, afternoon, and nighttime, do that three times, uh, three days in a row, and just make sure that, that that calorie intake is matching what you should be at. Whew. Next question, it's a bit of a long one. I was into training for about a year and then had to stop because of exams and didn't go to the gym or anything for about three months. All I want to know is that if I do what I did before and take my mask in and shake as I did before, will I see results? It took me around three months to see something at the last time. Wow. Firstly, I'd start off with the mask gain apart. Um, mask gains wouldn't really have much effect overall unless, you know, it's all about your total calorie intake. So if you're just having a mass gain and that's all you're having in a day, you're not going to make any serious gains because, you know, a mass gain, uh, there might be sort of 800 calories, but if that's all you're eating throughout the day, then, you know, chances are you are in a calorific deficit. So um, also what I don't like about mass gainers as well is a lot of them on the market nowadays are really high in sugar. So I'd stay away from those and just try and get all the calories you need through nutrient dense foods. Um, onto the training part, you know, he said he was training for about a year before, so in my books, you're still really a newbie gainer, so 
chances are you get back to the gym and you are gonna you're gonna make some gains pretty quickly. And you said you've seen about three months to see something last time. That is, you know, we said it takes about twelve weeks to see any notable progress in muscle size. So you, you're looking at about the right figures there. So all I say is, you know, it's, it's keep at it. Measure your calories. Um, make sure you're getting the right amount of calories in, and you make gains in no time, mate. Okay, the second one. Let's <laughs> laugh. What protein should I buy? I've seen some maxi muscle lean gain on sale, but want something to bulk me out more. What would you recommend? Well, protein guys doesn't matter whether it's lean gain or mass gain. It's it's all irrelevant unless you compare it to your calorie intake. So. You know, you can finish a gym session, have your lean gain protein shake, but if you have that and then later on you go have a McDonald's, you're not going to gain lean muscle mass because you know you've you've ruined it by having by something else in your diet. So you just need to compare it to what you're what you're eating before, like I said, and you need to compare it to your total calorie intake. Um, so when it comes to protein, you know, I I usually say you don't need to have a protein shake unless you're not already getting enough in your diet. So if that is the case, then I just stick to some normal impact whey protein, plain and simple, just to bump your protein up a little bit if you're not already getting it in your diet. Um, that's all I'd say. Um, next question. I've been going to the gym for about six months now, but recently I've had no energy to go and I've been slacking on my workouts and not seeing results. What can I do to increase my energy to get better workouts? Now, this can be a whole load of different things. I could probably make a whole video on this, but things the main things I would relate it to would be sleep hydration and your diet um, sleep just, I'd say are you getting enough sleep if you're not getting enough sleep that can just really affect your whole day to be honest I'd say I'd say it's very individual but I'd look around getting about eight hours sleep give or take an hour or two um, next one's hydration just to make sure you're drinking enough water throughout the day again it's very individual to you and your body weight um, but again, it's a rough ballpark figure. I'd say drink about two to three liters of water a day to make sure your hydration and getting the fluid you need. And your diet. Um, again, I could talk about this all day, but you know, all I'd say is stay away from the calorie calorie intake for now. But let's look at where those calories are coming from. So, are you getting your calories from nutrient dense foods? You know, and are you eating regularly enough? You know, if you're not getting a big breakfast sometimes, and you you know you've got like a long day until your lunch. And that can affect your energy throughout the day and you know just make sure you're getting a balanced balanced diet so a good balance of proteins fats and carbs and that'll just you know give you fuel throughout the day so you know match all those three three things together and it may be that you have like a vitamin vitamin or mineral deficiency which is causing you to be tired but you know if you try those things and they're not working and you know seek further advice but you know that's all i, I would say to to look the main things i would look at if someone's lacking energy um Last question, I train hard but my difficulty is to gain weight. How am I supposed to train and for how long? I train at home with basic weights, no machines, just a bench with a barbell and some dumbbells. Well, this can all depend on how long you've been training for. And you said, I train hard but my difficulty is to gain weight. That's that's mostly going to be down to your calorie intake. So to gain weight, you need to be in a calorie surplus. So you need to eat more calories than what your body is expending. So for example, if my body is burning 3000 calories a day, I need to eat more calories than that so i can gain weight and when it comes to training how am i supposed to train for how long you know if you're looking to gain weight then i'd say just stick in that standard hypertrophic range you know eight reps eight to twelve reps for about three or four sets for about five exercises on each muscle group um you said you train at home with weights uh basic weights no machines just a bench and a barbell and some dumbbells like i said if if you're a newbie lifter you can make some really good gains off that but eventually you are going to get to the point where you're going to need to get yourself in the gym and you know you're gonna to need to change your training up so you don't plateau and you keep progressing and forward. So, you know, with, with a barbell, you can do all your compound lifts. So you know, your military press, your deadlifts, your squats, bench, dumbbell, or, you know, bent over raise. You can do you can do everything. But eventually, your body is gonna get used to that. So you're gonna to need to you know get yourself in the gym and just change up your style of training so you don't plateau. But yeah, that would be that would be great for the first six six months to a year. That would be fine, no problem. You can make some good gains off that. And like I said, gaining weight is just all gonna be about your calorie intake. So that's my Q&A video guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, if you've got any questions that you're thinking of asking me now, just comment in the section below or head over to my social media page, I'll put the links in the comments below and ask me any questions you want. I'll be trying to do these regularly and have a good one guys, see you soon.